Hey everyone, it's Luke here from LT Gaming, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm taking a look at the top 8 Forgotten War games. Now, as always with these lists, there's going to be a couple of caveats, and the first is the definition of a war game. They can range from hex-based titles all the way up to fully 3D simulated experiences. But if you do come here and you suggest Call of Duty or War Thunder, you're probably in the wrong place. It was quite funny actually, as the last war list got pushed to a wider audience, we got a lot of those style of comments. Well, look, this is what war games are, and I'm pretty flexible on the definition. Although I will be honest, War Thunder looks kinda cool, I might give that a try at some stage. This particular list has a really great mix of traditional hex-based titles and some great 3D simulations. As always, my definition of Forgotten is also flexible, but I'm looking at quite a low Steam player base, but also a highly playable and enjoyable experience in 2024. I also really strongly want your suggestions in the comments below. This is not a definitive top 8. I probably could have made a list of 100 war games at this stage, but we always have room for more, so I want to hear what you think. So there we go, LT Gamers. That's the premise for the list. Let's jump in and have some fun. Let's go. And first up is a couple of honorable mentions. Now, these are very hardcore hex and counter games, but I really think if you're a war gamer, you're going to get some deep value from these. The first one I want to briefly mention is Bastogne Breakout. It's a hex counter and card simulation of the battles around Bastogne during the Battle of the Bulge in 1944. It's extremely cheap and brought to us by Bruin Bear Games. And honestly, if you want to dive into something a little bit different, this could be for you. So go and check it out. The second honorable mention is a historical hexagonal turn-based strategy war game called RBM Studios Gettysburg. You can pick this up for under €5, Euro, and that's at full price, and I have put over 20 hours into this on my Steam Deck. It's an absolutely brilliant yet simple war game. I absolutely love anything to do with the American Civil War and the ability to command my units in a historically accurate representation of the Battle of Gettysburg was a no-brainer for me. Look, it's extremely simple, it's designed by Mark Herman, and it is a really great game. Do check this one out, I'd love to go and get some more sales on this so they'll do some extra battles. It would be epic if we could do that, go and pick this one up to support them. Right, we're going to kick this list off with something a little bit more graphical, and it is the spiritual successor to the microprose classic Red Storm Rising. The game is Cold Waters. Cold Waters is inspired by the 1988 classic Red Storm Rising. You command a nuclear submarine in a desperate attempt to prevent mutually assured destruction when the Cold War gets hot and World War III begins. Although the game came out in 2017, it's a really great representation of real-time naval combat, with over 40 classes of ships and submarines meticulously researched. There's also a dynamic campaign where your performance matters, and it is playable on the Steam Deck, which is always important to me. Now, this particular list has gone in more of a hardcore war game direction, so if you're looking for some better graphics, this one is definitely a strong contender on the list. Coming up next, we have Warplan, which stands out as a really well-crafted World War II simulation engine, offering a fine balance between realism and playability. Drawing upon the rich legacy of 50 years of World War II board wargaming, it encapsulates the essence of the era with unparalleled accuracy. Through its flexible engine and comprehensive database, players can immerse themselves in a recreated World War II experience, detailed in every aspect. Whether commanding vast armies or making crucial strategic decisions, Warplan provides an authentic and engaging journey through one of history's most defining conflicts. And what really stood out for me with Warplan compared to a lot of the war games of yesteryear is the way that it plays and the UI. It's smooth, it runs really well, and it's very user-friendly. If you're thinking about getting into the hex and counter style of war game, then this would be a really good place to start. There is also a sequel called Warplan Pacific if that theatre is more for you. Kraken, who is the developer of this game, is also working on Kingdom, Dungeon and Hero, an upcoming fantasy star war game that you should definitely check out. From one user-friendly war game to another in Hex of Steel. This game is a refreshing World War II war game covering all fronts and features a number of original mechanics. 
You can fight solo against the AI in Europe, Africa, or the Pacific. Or if you choose to, go online and play cross-platform PBEM or real-time multiplayer. Co-op is also an option in this. Once again, this is another modern war game with none of the issues of the past. It plays really well and the UI is very smooth to use and I found it to be a really enjoyable experience overall. There are so many different scenarios you can get completely lost in this and if you were looking to pick up your first war game, a X-based traditional hardcore war game, then this is definitely at the top of the list. The game has also been received extremely well by its peers, with a very positive rating on Steam at 97%. You can't really argue with that. Well, you know, given the current state of Steam reviews, maybe you can, but you know what I'm saying. The people who play this review it very honestly, I would say. And we move on to another hardcore hex-based war game. I mean, I can't believe there's so many good ones on this list. Attack at Dawn, North Africa. And of course, there are various levels of hardcore, and this game is definitely on the more accessible side. I really enjoyed that this game took a real-time approach, which was very novel when it came out. In essence, the game is a World War II strategy game that mixes the ease of real-time action with the depth of operational gameplay, all on a beautifully crafted North African map. I made a few videos on this back in the day, and even talking about it makes me want to go back and play it. It was so refreshing in the war game space. I do hope that Panzer Division Games made a success out of this, and that they plan more for the future, because I would definitely buy more of their titles. If you are interested in this title, I think the best thing to do is go and check out my Let's Play that I did a couple of years ago. Now, the quality might not be as good as what we do today, but I still think those videos stand up. I'll leave the link in the description, and I do highly recommend this war game. Coming up next, we have Graviteam Tactics Maya's Front. This game is a tactical battalion level combat simulation, and the action takes place over four large scale operations between the Red Army and the Germans. This particular title takes a leap from 2D maps into the 3D realm, and although the graphics are not amazing, they do a pretty good job at representing the scale involved in this type of warfare. The game is rated very positive on Steam and is also playable on the Steam Deck. It's just one of those titles you can really sink your teeth into and there's an overwhelming amount of content available. If you're looking for more, they've also done a huge amount of DLC. Now that might not be for you, but if you are looking for an expanded title, there's plenty available. The next game on the list comes from the ever-expanding SGS series and the game is SGS Type Pings. It looks to recreate a period of history that we're a little bit out of touch with here in the West, and that is the Taiping Rebellion from 1851 to 64, the deadliest Chinese civil war costing the lives of millions. As the player, you will get to take control of the Taiping rebels and their allies, fighting to create their own state, or be the King Emperor and crush the revolt before it topples your dynasty. Once again, this is a modern war game that plays very smoothly and has an accessible UI. I would also call out the artwork on the unit cards as being a particular highlight. The music and atmosphere is very strong, and if you want to find out more, check out the full review that we did on the channel, I'll link it in the description below. And we roll on to Command Modern Operations, a very complex strategy war game brought to you by Slytherin. This game represents the pinnacle of cross-domain modern wargaming, ushering in the next generation of immersive gameplay. With its advanced capabilities, it empowers players to simulate a vast array of military engagements spanning from the aftermath of World War II to the contemporary era and beyond. While its primary focus lies on tactical and operational scales, Command Modern Operations also offers the flexibility to undertake strategic level operations, providing players with a comprehensive and dynamic gaming experience unparalleled in its depth and realism. This game lets you model absolutely any type of military engagement, and one of my favourite things to do was to get different fighter jets from the Cold War era and put them up against each other. You can do this in a scenario-based environment or play out entire campaigns. It also comes with a number of different DLC purchase options if you want to expand your military conflicts. There is everything available from the conflicts in the Middle East to the Falklands War. Now this package is expensive, and if you start to purchase DLC, it can really start to add up. But you can get absolutely years of gameplay out of this title. 
and overall this has to be one of my favourite complex war games to play in 2024. And finally we come to Regiments, a war game that we reviewed when it came out and it was one of the big first successful videos that we had on the channel. Regiments immerses players in the intense realism of real-time tactics within the turbulent backdrop of Germany in 1989. As the Cold War erupts into open conflict, players must guide their regiment through the chaos of war and the uncertainty of battle. Navigate through the relentless inferno of combat, making strategic decisions amidst the fog of war. From breaking through enemy lines to coordinating artillery strikes, executing maneuvers and orchestrating counterattacks, every move is crucial. With perseverance as your ally, press forward relentlessly, never wavering in the face of adversity in this awesome strategy game. I really do think that this is an amazing war game to play in 2024. It has the graphics, the gameplay, and the challenge. So if you're looking for something a bit more visually appealing, this is a title that you should consider. Now they also added British DLC, and I know another one is on the way. So this is a war game that you can play in 2024 and beyond and look forward to new content. If you want to know more, check out the Should You Buy that I'll link in the description, but honestly, I can't recommend this game highly enough, it's a great time. And I think the reason for that is the game lets you plan things out a little bit more in your own time. I always found with Warno that you just rush in a bunch of units, they get killed, you don't really know why, and then you're back to square one just pumping out new units. In this, you can think a little bit more strategically, maybe because I'm an older gamer, it just really appealed to me. I guess you could say it's a little more slow paced, and I think that's a good thing. Now I haven't played Warno since it came out, so I might have to go back and check it out to make a fairer comparison now that it's been updated. But in summary, Regiments is an excellent title and you definitely should pick it up if you're an avid wargamer. So there we go LT Gamers, another awesome list on the channel. Now of course this is not a definitive one, I could have put a hundred games if I really wanted to. So I want to know what games you would have included, make sure to comment below. As always, it's totally awesome to have you here. We're so grateful for 10,000 subscribers. Make sure to keep liking, commenting, and subscribe if you're new here. As always, I've been Luke from LT Gaming, and I'll catch you on the next one.